Indo Sabelis, Minister of Foreign Affairs. I have a question for Mr. Reid. Um, you mentioned, you made a research uh, of national strategies of innovation in, in, in all uh, Baltic Sea region countries. What uh, was uh, you paid attention and what is our results? Uh, how integrated in the national research uh, strategies, national innovation strategies, uh, is uh, EU strategy for Baltic Sea region? Whether that uh, was a part of the strategy or it was too early to speak about that, what is your thing? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, during the presentation I pointed out that one of the issues was that the EU strategy came along after the start of the current programming period for structural funds, and many of the strategies that were uh, in place in the regions or countries had been established, let's say, 2005, 6, or 7. So there's some uh, time problem here. So we, ha we have uh, the, the EU strategy coming along. I mean, nevertheless, I think uh, a number of the operational programs or national strategic reference frameworks um, did mention uh, as an objective to integrate uh, investments or to look for opportunities for cooperation. But as I say, in, in reality, we see that um, this was not usually integrated then as an element, for instance, in program selection or project selection or thinking about research infrastructures. Or, so th there's some elements in, in, um, in some strategies, uh, some programming documents that uh, point towards uh, integrating with the European, uh, the, the Baltic Sea strategy. But operationally, quite little has been done. And I think this comes from uh, partly a phasing problem and partly, um, as I said, there's an, an issue of, in some countries of getting the necessary condition for cooperation, whether it's uh, having uh, a well-equipped research lab so you can receive uh, researchers from other countries uh, or, or having your, your cluster structure in place first in your, in your country or the competence center established so you can start the cooperation. But, but I think also there's, um, as I said, a need to have a, a more program-based approach. So a lot of the cooperation so far has been project-based, which is you know, good because you have some nice, uh, I think the, the gentleman from the local authorities was saying ideas come locally as well. And that's true, but I think there's a need for much stronger cooperation uh, at a program level in terms of some of the key technologies, key business opportunities. And I think it's, it's always very difficult uh, to, to get, go from good intentions in, the, in these programming documents to actual uh, implementation because uh, national agendas or uh, crisis that comes along can throw things uh, out, of, out of sync. But, so I think we need some sort of instrument, a program or a program-based approach at, at uh, Baltic Sea level if we want to go beyond uh, these good intentions. Mm. Um, uh, uh, you have very, very good experience in comparison of Baltic countries and, uh, and different, on different stages. After presentation of all Latvian partners, it seems for me that it, we are living in the happy land and we have to have be at least in top 10 of developed, developing, developed countries. What is the reason? Why? What is what, your vision? Why? It is question number one, and question number two is, is as it relates to your, your presentation. So again, you see in Latvia three levels. Professor Rewitzki is speaking about industry, uh, university industry collaboration, research contracts, contracts, and so on. So it is level one. Then comes the next stage. Uh, competence centers. Again, what is, what is, what is the difference? Uh, the industry, uh, research called collaboration. Then comes next stage, clusters. Again, one of the elements in the cluster is industry, business, and again, uh, again, research system. What is the difference and what is your experience uh, in what economic development stage each of these elements should be introduced. In my mind, in Latvia, we, we have done something a little bit too early. Thanks. Um, well, uh, <laughs> quite uh, provocative questions, as I would expect uh, from you, I think. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's, 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 it's always easy to look from the outside and judge and, and say this shouldn't have been done like that or that shouldn't have been done like that. But um, I, I, think there is, um, I think there is an issue of uh, 
scheduling or timing of, of, of what we're implementing. Um, and that's what I was trying to say. I mean, it's not just a Latvian problem. It's something you see in, 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 in the other Baltic states and, and other regions and countries. And I think there is a kind of uh, trying sometimes to put uh, the horse uh, uh, or the cart before the horse or whatever the, the right expression in English is, the proverb is. Uh, and I mean, I think that the venture capital investments that were mentioned there are, are uh, you know, Latvia was ahead of the game in some ways, but one can still wonder whether, uh, you know, if you look at the rationale behind venture capital investments and uh, the fact that uh, the scale uh, issues are extremely important, then you, you have to wonder whether that, that scheduling of that was the right way around. Um, so I think there, there are certainly elements of, uh, of building up capacity first in order to, to deliver. And I think if you look at the stage of development then, and, and if you look at just basic statistics on, on what companies are trying to do in terms of innovation, uh, then you see that companies in the three Baltic states are basically trying to innovate through uh, embodied technology, buying technology transfer and so on. So to be, to be simple. And it's about increasing, first of all, productivity, capacity to design products and so on. So if we're trying to uh, push them to um, you know, develop faster than, than they can, then I think there's a real problem there. So first I would say the first priority should be to improve the, the current base of companies in, 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 in the innovation system. Uh, in order to, to really uh, develop the capacities of existing companies. And if you look at industrial structure, then yeah, the 1.5% of, of GDP on R&D uh, is, I'm afraid, it's not going to happen. Uh, so the industrial structure is something you can't ignore. And there's been very little change in any of the three Baltic states over the last decade in terms of the high-tech employment and, or knowledge intensive services. It's, it, goes a bit like that, basically. There's, there's no real pattern. So there are changes, and there are, there, you know, there are good positive examples we've heard today, and it's not all black or white. Uh, but I, I do tend to agree that um, there, there's a need to uh, think about the way we, we the, the process of implementing policies. And for me, the, the main issue is about making some harder choices and saying, OK, we can't possibly compete at the European level in, or world level in, in 15, 20 technologies or, or even 15, 20 research centers and, and really focus. And the same goes for the companies. Uh, I don't think there's any European country, and Latvia included, where company creation is a problem. You know, and, and yet we put so much em emphasis on creating new companies, startup companies, and so on. The real problem is growing companies, and, and the last example, very interesting, growing companies to the stage they can actually play at the global level and become, or at least the European level, and become strong regional actors. And creating more mid-sized companies who are locally based and doing R&D, that, that will help you move to the R&D objective, but not just uh, dictating it. So I think there's a kind of um, process element in, uh, that is very important in it. But I don't have all the answers either. <laughs> Thank you. Any other question? On behalf of the Employers Confederation of Latvia, say we are trying to formulate the message. What should we uh, give to them? What message shall we give to the mem members of the Confederation? So the question to the State Secretary, how should this strategy be really financed? What are the source sources? Should it be like marked, like a concrete type of financing within the next framework or not? Uh, partly that's a political uh, question. If politically this question is a priority, then it should be uh, reflected in the all the in the general EU instruments and also in the uh, uh, national um, uh, instruments uh, uh, in the horizontal um, plane. Uh, that be one of the ways how to reflect it, how to show it, show it that these are the uh, common objectives, and that would refer also to individual projects. When we shall work at the planning uh, of the next um, uh, uh, planning period, uh, we need to see whether th that is the same what the Latvian government wants to achieve with the help of these structural funds. Uh, we need to note that uh, the government uh, uh, must uh, 
put into practice a policy that uh, corresponds to the needs of the national economy at the given uh, time. Otherwise, uh, that, that would be no sense if there's no value, uh, added value. So there must be added value to the economy, and this must be reflected uh, uh, to the um, level of action policy.